Man, if Elementor had these type of entrance effects for their images in their pro version, I am so confident in saying that they'd sell like double the amount of copies of that plugin that they do now. Let me show you what I mean when I say you have not seen entrance effects to images like this. So here on this page, as we scroll down, have you ever seen entrance effects like this? I don't think so. These are pretty unique and they're all custom made. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. It isn't hard to do. The longest part isn't actually the coding or designing. The longest part is actually just making these type of entrance effects ready for the images, which is pretty quick to do anyways. And as I scroll down, you can even do pixelated and you even can do this sort of smoky fading in effect as well. All of these things are completely unique. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own effects. I'm gonna show you that it only takes one piece of code to control all of them. You don't have to do anything with that actual code. All that has to be done with it is either putting it on a page or putting it as a custom code for the whole website. And I am going to share this with you. Now, for those of you that are in a hurry and would rather just download the complete template with all these different effects already built in, there's gonna be a link in the description of this video that'll take you to this page on my website. Over here, you can download the complete template with all these effects I've been showing you, as well as a secondary template that has a whole list of other effects. So those are all just bundled together and all you have to do is download that zip file. So over here, you can see that I've downloaded the zip file. Now, all I'm gonna do is extract the contents. So here in the contents, you can see there's two template files and let me just show you how quick and easy it is to install these. So here in Elementor Page Builder, we're gonna click on the Add Templates icon and then we're gonna go import templates, which is this icon right over here. And all you have to do is drag and drop the file of the template. So here's one of those files. I'm gonna drag and drop it into place and let go. Over here, I'm just gonna say continue. Now do wait just a little bit just for this thing to download onto your website. It is gonna take a minute or two because there's a lot going on in the back end. But once it's actually downloaded properly with everything it needed, then you'll see that the library is gonna pop up again. So here's that animated image entrance. We're going to say insert, say apply, and bam, you've got the whole template with all the different effects here ready to go. And like I said, there is a second template, the same process applies, just import it, and there'll be a whole bunch of other effects for you. The code that actually governs all these images is going to be right at the bottom of the page. Over here in this HTML widget, there's the code, so you can keep it right there where it is in the page you want to use or you can use it as a custom code in Elementor. So over here in the back end of WordPress website, it's just over here under custom code. You can copy paste that into a new custom code and it'll work the same way. So for those of you who want to see how to build this yourself, let's go and clean up this page right over here. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do this. Now, before we continue, there's going to be another link that's going to be in the description of this video. It's going to take you to my reference page, which is this one right over here. So you can see here's the actual post. We scroll down. This very first button, there's some video and there's some GIFs that you can just download and follow along with this tutorial. So you don't have to go and sit and choose and do the whole process yourself. You can just test it out as you're going along. The second link is going to take you to a website that's a free resource online that you can download videos, pictures, vectors, a whole bunch of things. Now what we're going to start off when creating our custom entrance animation is we need a video to base this whole thing off of. So if I go to that free resource, here it is. So this is the Vecteezy. So over here in the search, I'm going to change this to videos. I'm going to look for transitions. Now the ones that you want to look for are the ones that go from black to white. So black is going to be invisible, which hides the image. White is going to be the image being revealed. If I just refresh this, you can see that the image being revealed was that actual white piece of the video that we're going to be using. Now we're not going to be using video in this animation. This is just our starting block. So we don't actually have to custom code in an animation program. So in this video resource page, what we're going to be looking for is video. We're going to look for transitions. Now, because we're looking for transitions, those are generally black to white. So let's go look for a transition video. So what I'm going to be looking for over here is it's a smoke transition. If you downloaded the resources with the, the GIFs and the videos, you'll see that there already is two there. So you don't actually have to do this part if you don't want to. But for those that want to make their own complete custom one, this is the process. So now in the search results, all I'm going to look for is the license type, which is going to be a free license because I don't have a paid subscription to this. 
and we're going to look for an effect that appeals to us the most. Now again, you want something that goes from black to white or vice versa, which you can always just change in the video editor, which we're going to be using as well. Don't have to stress about it. I'm going to show you how to do that. You know, this one right over here is something that I think I should use in this video example. So I'm going to click on this here. I'm going to go and say the free download. If you don't have an account with them, just create one. It is free. Okay, so now that you've chosen and downloaded the video you want to use, here it is over here. You can see it's pretty big, it's 36 megs. Now, again, we're not gonna be using this as a video, but we do have to trim out this video to make a perfect transition because over here, this video actually had two. So if I'll go and check it, you can see it goes from white to black. And then the second part is going from black to white. So we don't need so much length, so we can actually cut it in half. I'm gonna be using Premiere Pro to cut this. You can use any free resource or any other type of a video editor. As an example, Canva has a free online video editor. So does Adobe. They also have a free online one and as well as CapCut. So whatever editor you choose and all these editors will have the same tools. So the choice is up to you. Okay, so here in Premiere, I'm just gonna take this video, load it up quick and I'm just gonna put it on my timeline. So say example, this actually starts off from white to black. So if you had chosen an example that goes from white to black, you are going to need to invert those colors. Very easy to do on any editor. So I am gonna go and choose that as the cutoff point. So where I feel like it's the perfect place to stop, that's where I'm going to cut this. So let me just cut this there and then the second piece I can delete. So now my effect, if I go forward, actually works like that right but now again i need it to go from black to white so all i have to do is go and get the effect so over here it's invert put it in so now you can see that it goes from black to white all editors are slightly different on how to do that i'm sure like in CapCut and that it's just literally an option on the top although i stand to be correct on that i don't use CapCut. okay so now that we're happy with exactly how the video is now we're just going to export this new video so save it wherever you need to the settings don't really matter it can be 1080p 4k whatever the case is the bigger the size is and the bigger the end result is which might not be a good thing so just keep that in mind for me over here i'm just going to keep it at 1080p I don't care about the rest of the settings. The audio, actually, I can even just switch it off to make sure that's just video. So we don't need any if there is. And I'm just gonna say export. So here's that new video file. You can see now it's actually eight megs. Again, not a reflection of the end result. So if I play it, you can see that it's pretty much perfect. So now that we have the video ready with the transition we have in mind, it's time to go back to that resource page on my website. So here again on the resource page, we've got the downloads. This is where we just got that video. And then the third one is an online GIF creator. So let's go and click on that. Now here in this easy GIF, it's very easy to convert a video to a GIF. I'm gonna choose the video to GIF. It's gonna ask with, for the video. Here, I'm just gonna go and upload it quick. Now, there are a couple of settings we're gonna to have to keep in mind over here. So it's important for GIF to only loop once. So it's an entrance animation, so it doesn't continuously loop. So there are a couple of things that we are going to do here right in Easy GIF. Once it's uploaded, you can see that the video is ready. I'm gonna go down. Now, this frame rate is what I'm looking for in this first screen. I want this as high as it can go so it can be as smooth as it can be. So if he has a 33, that's fine. If yours is higher or lower, whatever the max is, just choose that. And then I'm going to say convert to GIF. Now underneath is going to output the GIF of that video, okay? Now that we have that, you can still see it's like 7 megs. But there are a couple of things we are going to change over here. So the first thing is we're going to click on this more tools button right underneath the GIF. Right here where you see my mouse is. We're going to click that. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove background. The background is going to be this black right over there. So it's easy. If you want to have a custom color, you can just click this over here. Get the dropper. And then you can choose the exact color that you want to make as the background. But for me, it's pretty easy because it's just the black. So I just choose black. Then the fuzziness over here. I'm gonna put this to about a 10. It's a pretty good balance for the fuzziness to actually keep in between grays more relatively in line. Now, once I've done with that, then I just say submit, and then you can see the output will be at the bottom over here. Again, it's still gonna be pretty big, but we're gonna fix that. Okay, so now it's output to the GIF. Now you can see how it's starting to take shape. Now, again, we're gonna click on more tools again, because we don't want this to continuously loop, right? So over here, it says change loop count. So we click that and we just have to take this from zero and we just say one. So it only loops once. 
and then we say change loop count and now you can see this thing starting to get a lot smaller now one of the final things that you're going to have to play around with yours depending on your video is we are going to optimize this so if we click on optimize it's going to take you to the screen over here so for me i'm guessing maybe a 90 for this particular image would be pretty good it goes all the way up to 200 on compression it's totally up to you and the video that you use to actually convert to a gif so you are going to have to play around here so for me, I'm just going to go say maybe 91. I'm going to say optimize GIF. The higher the number doesn't necessarily mean the better compression though. That's something I found, which is kind of weird. So if 91 got you a one and a half megs, sometimes 90 would have done better compression. Very weird thing, but just be aware of that. So on this optimize image, I'm just going to right click on it, say save image as. So over here, I can rename it to whatever. Just make sure it's still the GIF file and say save. Okay, so now that we have our custom animation all done, it's time to put this in a page. So back in Elementor, here we're gonna make the magic. To start this off, we need obviously our first container. So I'm just gonna click layout, flex. I'm gonna choose that one. I will make this full width. Make sure it's 100 width. VH for min height and 100. So it's the whole screen. It doesn't matter. This doesn't actually matter at all. It's just to actually place it. This is going to bear no influence at all. So inside of here, what I want actually maybe is make this horizontal and I'll put two images in this. So click this plus sign, go to image, drag and drop. There's the one. And then I'm just going to duplicate this. Now, if you don't have this structure window, it's this button right there. I say that like in every video. Now, I think maybe I want to put this in the middle. So click container, say justify center and align center. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So now we, let's go and choose an image. Doesn't matter an image, anything random. We're actually just off the effect, remember? So choose image. Let me use the same one in the example. I'm going to use this one. Put it in there and I'll do the same thing for this one. Again, it doesn't actually matter. Okay, now I have my images. Now, at the bottom of this, I'm going to put the HTML widget. It can be in a different container. It can be anywhere. It doesn't matter. So for me in this example, all I'm going to do is get a new container and I'm going to get the HTML widget. Over here is that widget, drag it across and let go. Okay, so everything's in place. Now I promised you that making the GIF was the hardest and longest part. So this is super quick. Now, this image over here is going to need a custom CSS class name so that the code knows to target that image. In the resource page that I showed you, it is going to be this very first window here, which is the custom viewport mask image. So we're just going to go and copy that. Back in the editor under advanced here in CSS classes, we'll paste it there. I'm going to do the same thing for the second one. Click on the second image, go to advanced, in custom CSS classes, I'm gonna paste that name right there. That particular GIF that we had just made, I'm gonna put it into this first one. The second one, I'll just put in the different one just to show you that it doesn't matter what is there, okay? So for this first one, in order for the code to know where to get that GIF, we have to load it up into our library first. So while I'm in the settings of this first one, I'm going to go down and I'm going to go look for the mask. Here, I'm going to turn this on. And for the shape, I'm going to say custom. Here, I can click on that. It's going to open up the media library. And that GIF that we had made from that video, just drag it across and let go. Now it's loaded up into Elementor. I'm just going to say select. So now you can see that it's doing that effect like that. Right now, this is an animated mask, but if we go and actually preview this, it's not triggered by the viewport, it's just automatic, which is not what we want. We want it to actually trigger when the image comes into the viewport. For the sizing and everything of this mask, we're gonna make sure that this thing's like a full, so it really covers the entire image. And we're gonna say the position is center center. Depending on your actual animation, you might wanna play around with these two settings, but for this one over here, it's pretty fine. The second one, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go to advanced. I'm going to go to mask, switch it on make it custom and i'm going to choose one of my other ones that i have i think maybe this one right over here that's fine so it does that animation 
So again, they went through the same principle. It was a video I got, converted to a GIF with no loops, removed that whole background to make it smaller and then just compressed it. Okay, so now that is all done. Now the final piece to this is if we go to the reference page, we're gonna go and copy the script. So we just copy this and in the HTML widget, we paste it. Done, like really, <laughs> it's that easy. You wouldn't believe how long it took me to make this code, by the way. So do remember to like this video and share it around and put a comment and all that stuff. Make the algorithm actually notice this video. So I'm going to publish. Now, in order to actually see the effect, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go onto this main container and I'm just going to stupidly bump up the top uh, padding so that the images aren't in the viewport. So I'm going to delink this. The top, I'm going to put maybe, say, a thousand. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's just to show you the effect, okay? So I'm going to click Publish. Now that's loaded up. Now you see it only triggers when it's in the viewport. So if I do it again, refresh, give it a couple of seconds to show you that it's only triggered on the viewport. I think that's long enough. And I scroll down. You can see it triggers on the viewport. And you can see that it was just one piece of code and we have two different effects happening over here. So you can make whatever entrance effect you want in a video, just turn into a GIF and bam, you have complete control of your entrance animations that are completely custom to you. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing as well. That stuff makes a big difference to a small channel like mine. If you have any suggestions or anything, then just put a comment down below. Let me see what I can do. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.